Hello everyone. I am live from the beach somewhere in the world. As you can see, it is very hot. <laughs> it is uh, full sun and it's just a beautiful day though. Look at the water behind me. Can you see that? And I have on this cover up that is sheer enough to protect my skin from the sun, but also light enough so that I'm not too hot. So I'm enjoying a nice vacation that I have worked so hard for <laughs> to deserve. And I'm here at the beach because I want to talk to you about financial freedom and some of the ways in which you can achieve it. And I know people say, oh, that's not possible for me, but I truly do believe that financial freedom is available for everyone, including you watching. So today I'm gonna to show you some products that I use and how I save money and how it truly has helped me to reach financial independence because the first step in reaching financial independence is saving money, not spending as much. So I buy everything on Amazon. I mean everything toilet paper toothpaste everything and so that I truly believe has helped me save and cut costs buying in bulk buying for my children you know their uniforms back to school you name it I have been able to just save a ton of money and I recycle because I know packaging waste is kind of a big deal right now with our environment and so I make sure that I do recycle but if you have questions about financial freedom, please type them over here in the chat because I want to address those. And so while I'm here at the beach <laughs> on vacation, I wanted to go live because it was just really on my heart. Um, I'm staying with a friend, very, very sweet friend of mine who's allowed me to stay at her home. She is financially free, as you can tell, right? Uh, with this home and we literally are on the beach. I could just walk past the lawn here and walk right to the beach and you see our chairs are still there from earlier and we'll be back over there once the sun moves a little bit more but just being able to experience this moment at her home on the beach it really allows me to see everything that I've worked for and so if you're working and you haven't achieved the things that you want to have in life it's really time to think about getting on a path to financial freedom because it's an intentional path. Financial freedom is not something that you just wake up one day and you have. I don't know anybody that's having for it. You have to actually plan it out the way you would plan out any other goals. And so of course, everybody knows on my website, LakeishaSimmons.com, I have a blog and plenty of free information about how I did it, how you get started, what you can do to achieve your financial freedom. I'm gonna type my web link into the chat so that you can go there later. But for now, I want to soak up some more of this sun and I wanna show you some products that I use that help me save money. Some of them are a little bit expensive, but I'll tell you why, why I chose to buy the expensive products and what they're good for, all right? So I'm going to move up to a chair so that I can show you some of the products that I use. And hopefully I won't lose you as I'm walking. But if you're, um, why don't you tell me where you're from? Type in the chat. I want to know. I want to know where you're from, where you're watching from. <laughs> That's exciting. Maybe I need to come where you are. <sighs> okay. And it's not as loud over here where the pool water was flowing. All right. Okay. All right. And I have my better half here who's going to help me. Oh, somebody's coming from Maryland. Oh, wow. Wow, awesome. Nashville, 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 Nashville. All right, so I'm going to let my better half take over so I can show the products. Okay. I'm going to flip the camera. Okay. You see a little more of the 
house there. Okay. All right. And we have it connected to a battery pack as well. You come on this end. Can you still see the water a little bit? Okay, we'll make sure that we pan to the water as well. <laughs> okay, so um, this video is really about financial freedom and the beach. And so I have to show some of the products, obviously, that I'm wearing. This one I love, and I have tagged it. It's this is it's long, it's sheer. It's kind of dark. Okay. Um, I can come in the sun some more. Mm -hmm. that's better all right great thanks for letting us know okay so this black lives matter swimsuit is everything right i did not get this one on amazon but there are some very close matches on amazon and i can link to those if we need to but i didn't get this particular one there so i didn't want to link to it at home uh, i'm kind of like an old lady i drink <laughs> out of these uh insulated thermoses a lot so this one is my better half because black is his favorite color and obviously i have the one that says retired so you can see my friend is laughing at me because she knows i'm on live here can you read that <laughs> so if you need some motivation oh love can you scroll to the product and click on it so they know which one that we're doing um, these particular mugs are insulated, so they keep drinks cold or hot for hours. So we have tons of these around our home, and they're perfect for at the beach. And this way, you're not using paper cups a lot because they're easy to wash and clean and rinse. As you see, I'm on vacation. They travel well, and our children also have some different insulated mugs as well. Okay? All right, it's like my, my bag of tricks here. <laughs> I wanna show you the crossbody that I use. This is a coach crossbody or messenger bag, whatever you'd like to call it. And I tagged several of the ones that I have. So love, you wanna make sure to show this one. And I'll stand up so you can see it better. So I have this thing stuffed with everything, of course, lots of masks but it has a pocket on the front and on the inside it also has a pocket but if you were to see how much stuff I have in here of course I have my emergency I have mask I have um, we should tag our stir in here that we drink stir so this saves a lot of money okay let me explain to you how this saves money uh, a couple of years ago we stopped drinking uh, juice and soda but of course sometimes you want some flavor in your water right or in your whatever your maybe you like sparkling water well this stir allows you to flavor your water and the flavor <laughs> the flavor is delicious all right it's only about one carb which is important and it's made from purified water natural fruit fruit flavor and this one has grape juice in it and natural stevia extract. I don't know if this one is tagged. Can you tag it? You want me to tag it? Um, Did you see the star? Hold on. Let me go and check. It may not be tagged. If it's not, I'll definitely tag it because my children also drink this. We get the multi-pack where there are five. So they have two multi-packs. My children love the black cherry flavor and which other one do they love the fruit, fruit, punch. the fruit punch they love the fruit punch i love the peach and um you love really all of them but the black cherry is your mm -hmm. favorite and the grape and so this saves you because you just keep it with you in a backpack and a purse and then you just squirt some into your water and then that would allow you to um have some flavor in your water all right, so this is the Coach Messenger bag. And I have 
everything stuffed in here. It has plenty of plenty of uh, space for everything that you need. Let me show you something else that you need around the house and at the beach. This is an anchor speaker, and this speaker is loud. So if you if you like a speaker that's loud, kind of like the old boom boxes back in the day, did you, did you tag this one up? Can you go to it? Press okay. the button on the top to turn it on. Oh, you want me so to they turn can it? Hear it. You have some music playing. Mm -hmm. Just hold it. Press it to hold it. Ooh. I'll press play will it play whatever you okay you don't have anything okay all right but it's bluetooth enabled it may be waterproof is this waterproof? yeah it's it's okay. kind of water resistant this one is water resistant and we if you're in the shower you want to use those that we were able to travel with this copper tone sunscreen i like something for my face that's not oily, so I actually have this on today. This is a copper tone, and I don't think I have this one tagged either. But if not, we'll tag it. Um, it's great for my face. It doesn't run in your eyes, but it's not really thick or greasy as well. So this is an SPF 50. And while I'm at the beach, living my best life, uh, I need books. So obviously, I'm not sitting around reading my own book, but you might want to read my book. And so I did tag it for you. This is The Unlikely Achiever. And what a lot of people don't understand about this book is that it's actually a workbook. So you can kind of see the different charts. I have prompts that I'm asking you to make responses for teaching you all about conflict resolution, how to negotiate your salary, how to achieve your goals, what's holding you back in life. You name it, it's in this book. It's a workbook. So I pick it up, give it to a friend, someone you know maybe that's just entering the career force or even if they've been out for a while and they just need a, a restart, a refresh, that's a great book. All right, so this one is from my love this is the the bullet journal if you're not familiar with bullet journal it really is a different method of journaling and let me just show you look at this isn't that interesting but think about how creative you'll be able to be and how your mind will just be free so look at this look at this ocean view again look at this beach while you're sitting there, trust me, the, the ideas will flow. You'll have so many things that you'll just want to write down. And since this doesn't have lines, you can create your own lines. You can create boxes, diagrams. It's perfect for you to just... Open up the front. So like uh, right there. Oh, yeah, the key. So look at the key there of the bullet journal. So definitely grab your bullet journal. You need this in your life. And the unlikely achiever. <laughs> okay. I also want to show you the AirPods. If you don't have AirPods yet, and we have so many. Isaac buys me so many of these different things and I'll use them all. So these particular AirPods, you've seen they really are convenient. You can just kind of tap or double tap to start music, play music, pick up a call, listen to your audio books, which I'm gonna show you the iPad. Um, you, they have cases in many different colors, but they really are worth it to get a pair. And I have two or three pair of these because he's always buying them for me. And they, they are an investment, but we've had ours for years. Even things like going to the grocery store, they allow me to just be hands-free and have a really great call quality. And so I, I do think it's worth it to be able to be hands-free, especially when you're driving as well. Okay. Next, we're gonna talk about this iPad. Now this iPad, I'm not gonna lie to you, this is expensive, okay? So, but this particular iPad is more of a, almost really a computer device okay 
and you can see how large it is it's the iPad Pro and yes we can we use this at the beach <laughs> turn the screen off okay at the beach so this particular one I've tagged the keyboard this is the magic keyboard and the iPad Pro but this is really more than a tablet it really is a computing device it can almost replace your computer so it's thinner it's lighter and the processing power the camera on it believe it or not a lot of my content the photos and videos have come from this iPad so obviously your music watching movies so I have the lifetime movie app and I watch tons of movies very clear quality just sitting at the beach with the airpods listening to the uh, movie while sitting right here on the beach there's just nothing like it so if you're looking for a new computer consider the iPad Pro okay consider that as an option all right love what else do we have on the list that we haven't talked about that's tagged uh, let's see and are there any comments in the chat yeah folks are saying you know they like this they need it some awesome. people have already already have some of the items so i think we covered everything good 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 oh the, the one thing we didn't cover that i don't think is tagged either though is the the battery charger how can mm. you not have a backup battery charger so obviously everyone here knows my favorite color <laughs> and this particular one allows you to uh, charge a couple of devices at once and it has hours and hours and hours it's hard to make this thing run out of juice um, i don't know how many hours that means a lot a lot of hours but this particular device will charge phones tablets you name it so i always keep this with me in my backpack we keep a couple you know throughout different places in the house the white brick. Oh, I don't have, um, I don't think I have this tag either. So some extra bricks. This is again, the anchor brick, but the whole purpose of this live truly was to talk to you about financial freedom. Are there any questions in there before I get on another? Okay. Someone was asking the brand name of the adapter, but you'll tag it, right? Okay. Yes. Of the, uh, I need to, the, can you tag it? Or we're... I don't see how. Because I can go in there and add it. And this comes in other colors too. Red, black. Okay. I can... Um, was it one more or was that it? Yeah. That we had tag? Was that it? That was it. Okay. All right. I can take the phone back now. If, you, if your arm is getting tired, love. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Just... All right. Let me flip this around. Okay. All right, thank you for hanging in here. I'm gonna see if I can tag the battery charger while I'm on here live with you. Let's see. Any other questions about anything? I don't see where I can tag it while I'm live. But this one was um, Power Ad. I'll just type it in the chat here. Power Ad. And I love it. And I've had this one for a while. Hubby has the black one. They're great for your, your child's backpack as well. Okay, so. You know that, <clears throat> maybe, some of you know, that I am retired. I retired at 41. And I am truly thankful i'm blessed for the opportunity to just even share my story with you and to share how i achieve financial independence but the best the best what the best thing i can say is that number one uh you have to cut your expenses i know people who make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year and they spend it all because they say, well, I, how, you know, it's not possible to save the money. I need to spend it. 
Well, yes, if you get a bigger house, a bigger car, and you spend a lot more money on items such as, you know, toothpaste, toilet paper, things that should just be the bare minimum. Does it really truly matter that much on the brand of toilet paper? Not really, 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 right? Someone has a question. How does someone who has a lower salary make it to financial freedom? I never feel I can get ahead. Ah, uh, thank you for asking that question because I know other people probably have the same question. Try to make sure you can see the beach too. And the question, the answer I have to that is side hustle. As you can see, I'm still side hustling. <laughs> Here, even this, I mean, I'm not doing this for free. Amazon is, does, you know, help out and so you find your side hustles as well. What is it that you're naturally good at that you can share that can help other people, right? I think that's the key. What is it that you're uniquely positioned to do that allows you to help other people, right? So uh, my sister has a business where she helps or she facilitates picnics, the ultimate picnic experience. So that brings joy to so many people father's day was a really busy time for her throwing the picnics and she makes money doing it write a book create t-shirts a product learn how to trade in the stock market so whatever you have figure out how you can use that to your best ability to create more income that's that's what i would say if you feel like your salary is lower what can you do to create more income and it's not always getting another job it's creating it's truly creating your income so think about ways you could do that instacart uber are options in terms of you know getting a job but working for yourself is going to be the way that you really truly have the most unlimited income does that make sense i hope so other questions good question all right awesome 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 um i also want to say that financial freedom so once you let's say you feel like you have cut as much money as possible from your budget and there's just really nothing else that you can cut because i i know that there that will happen you'll get to a point where you'll say i have really cut everything that i can cut so at that point i would say to you what is what are you doing with your 401k so if you do have an employer are you maxing out your 401k yet if the answer is no which it may not be try that okay once you have maxed out your 401k go to the next tax deferred option which is if you're a teacher or someone um, in the gov works for the government, works for the state, you may have something called a 457B. 457B. Look into it. Write it down and check and see if the 457B is available to you or not. All right. So because a 401k or 403a, anything like that, and then a 457, those are all tax deferred accounts. Tax deferred means that that money comes out and gets invested in the stock market before taxes. So it's going to save you taxes. You're going to have less money. Um, you're going to pay less money in taxes is basically what I'm saying at the time of your paycheck. Does that make sense? So when you invest in your 401k, you're investing in the stock market for the long term for retirement. I retired at 41. So I'm not touching my 401k right now, but I had a 457B, which allows me to go ahead and use that now. 457, there's no, there's no age restriction on it. I don't have to wait. So that's why I said check and see if you have it or not, because you may have it and just didn't even know, okay? All right, let's see, there's some questions here. Start after cutting the starting to say okay 401k okay great so you've maxed out your 401k you're gonna check to see if you have a 457 after that I would max out my Roth IRA so the Roth IRA is after tax okay so that after you get your paycheck you can invest up to six thousand dollars this year into something called a Roth IRA so the Roth IRA 
is money again that you can take out at any given time Roth IRA is an option for you if you have wages which means that you work and you can invest up to six thousand dollars anything that you contribute to it you can take out so let's say you put the six thousand in this year and then something god forbid happens and you need that money back you can take the six thousand back out and there's no penalty it's not a loan or anything like that okay you cannot take the interest that has accrued or any of the gains you won't be able to take that out all right but any money that you put in you can take back out because it's yours and you already pay taxes on it so the irs really doesn't care traditional ira so if your workplace does not have a 401k that or if you let's say you have a 401k but you're not investing in it which you should be then you can invest in a traditional IRA, all right? And then you will claim that on your tax return when you file taxes and then it'll, you know, go against your, your taxable income that way. But it's, it's cleaner if you do it through your 401k. Now, once you have maxed out all of those, you really should consider a brokerage account. So the brokerage account is where you hear a lot about the rich getting richer because they'll buy stocks in companies you know and love, Apple, Amazon, you name it. I don't know, what, tell me what your favorite company is to invest in, Tesla, some people love Tesla, you can type it in the message. And you'll buy stocks with the companies and then you'll, when they go up, you sell it. And if you make a gain on it, you'll pay tax on the capital gain. So if you buy a stock for $100, and you sell it for 150, you have a $50 gain. And you'll pay taxes on the gain. Now, that $50 is capital gains, it's not wages. Wages are taxed higher than capital gains, all right? So that means that people who are working pay more taxes than people who live out of their investment account. That's just a fact, it's a fact, okay? Um, so that's why it's so imperative to start investing in assets that give you a return because you'll pay less taxes on those okay over the long haul all right so we have some questions here genomics okay good it's a company you like there's a lot of new funds like that i like funds etfs electronically traded funds they invest in a number of stocks instead of just picking one stock and there are I, I actually do invest in some funds that are really focused on biometrics um, genes and things like that i'm reading the chat here i am contributing up to the employer match good should you invest in other stocks after contributing the maximum of the employer match Okay, this is a good question. So, um, this viewer wants to know that after they've contributed up to the match, which in my opinion is the floor, okay? The match, if it, the match at your company is 5%, then that's the minimum for you to invest is the match. But really, honestly, you should invest more than that. You should in my opinion this is what i would do okay you you can do whatever you want but what i did is i maxed it out this year the max that the irs will allow you to do is nineteen thousand five hundred dollars and the reason why i say that is because of the tax deferral and so this viewer says she's concerned she he or she is concerned about the taxes later in life so what i would say about that is that is really something to consider if you think you're going to have um, the money that you need to live on later in life is way more than it is today, then that might be a concern. If, if, if um, later in life, if you need a lot more than you need today to live on and you're selling stocks at a much higher rate, and of course the economy is going to keep up with inflation and things like that, then that's something to consider. But typically, um, that money that you'll be cashing out of the 401k or the, four, or the 457, 
since those will be taxed at income rates, but you won't have any other jobs if you're retired, right? So it will just be that and you'll just need what you need to live on. You won't also be paying for maybe childcare and your house may be paid for and you, you won't, some of the expenses you have today, you may not have them. You'll just mainly be vacationing and enjoying life and you know, you won't probably be shopping as much. You won't need as much money for work clothes. So think about it from that respect. Uh, so after the match, you can make that decision. I really like the tax deferral because that money is going to grow for decades tax free. And that gives your portfolio a chance to really grow over the years. I mean, it will just multiply. Over the last few years, we have had tremendous growth in the stock market. Last year, 2020 COVID, the stock market increased 15% in, during a pandemic. All right. In the past few years, we've just had double digit growth in the stock market and that's called compound interest. So last year was up 15 percent. Whatever is up this year in May it was up 9 percent. I'm sure it's more than that by now. As in, so that's your, your money is making money. And so that's that's something to consider. All right. Any other questions? those are great questions i need to come on here live more often so we can talk about financial freedom but personally what i'm doing is let's see should i ideally diversify between the options well you know what i don't um i my order my personal order was maxing out the 401k and then i maxed out the roth and then i put money in the brokerage in that order so you could do it the other way around, but I really was thinking about the tax advantages of the 401k as a priority because of my tax bracket. So anything I could do to reduce my taxable income today was important to me. So that's what I did. How does inflation affect the stock market? These are such good questions. Okay, so there is inflation that varies from year to, to year. And the stock market is really based on how well companies are doing so as companies are making profit you may have heard that delta airlines has just made a profit they didn't make a profit last year but they have made a profit this year because people are back traveling and so since that is happening that company is doing well it's going to pay its shareholders so if you own delta stock you're going to get to enjoy some of that profit that they're making okay now inflation happens when the cost of goods and services just go up over time the stock market is really a great vehicle to invest in because the companies typically are growing so if you if the cost of eggs are going up well guess what if you own if you you know if you're in an industry that uh would benefit from that then that's good for you and the stock market is just the best place to be for it so basically what I'm saying is, if inflation, let's say inflation is 2% this year, the average stock market gain is around 7%, all right? It, uh, before inflation, it's around 9 or 10%, and after inflation, it's about 7%. So if inflation is going up 2%, but you have money in a brokerage account and investing in companies that are doing well, maybe even more than 10%, then you're beating inflation. That's good. If you have money that's just in the, a savings account, do you know how much a savings account interest is? Less than 1% a year. So you can have all that money in a savings account and you can't beat inflation because inflation is usually between 2% and 3% a year. Does that make sense? So the stock market is the place to be I you don't want to invest if you don't know what you're doing you just want to throw money in there I see people just investing on cash app because there's an option to click buy something on cash app I I want you to know what you're doing so there are plenty of blogs out there there are plenty of um, you know you can go to investopedia um, you can also there's there's just so many blogs if you're 
obviously you can go to my website i have a blog lakeishasimmons.com and read about how the stock market works i have courses which i do uh, workshops once a month on what the stock market is what is the dow jones what is uh the s p 500 what is a bull market what is a bear market all these all these term terms that you have heard of but you may not really be clear on what they mean so the education is so important before you start making the investments because when you make the investments you want to you want to hit it hard and you want your investments to pay you back so you don't really want to make too many mistakes going forward but there are so many free resources on the internet that are quality i have a youtube channel you can go on my youtube channel and just watch the videos um so there's just so many ways that you can learn before you take a step and i really really want you to do that okay all oh, these are such good questions i've been solicited quite a bit about bitcoin and cryptocurrency which looks sketchy to me and i have no idea what they are yeah that's that honestly so what i will say about it is there are some people who are just trying to get over on people in that way but it is a currency that is electronic okay and it trades on a different market than the companies like apple or amazon it's not the same platform okay so it's a whole new way to learn about trading that type of currency okay again you really have to study it and know a lot about it before you do it so again be careful about a cash app or just some uh, robin hood be very careful about robin hood because it's very easy to trade on those platforms without knowing what you're doing okay you can lose anytime you invest you can lose money anytime even if you're investing in s p 500 index fund okay so when you have no idea what they are just don't touch it start learning the basics of the stock market and then work your way up is what i recommend okay and then you can invest in some funds some mutual funds or some etfs electronically traded funds that invest in bitcoin or crypto okay but that way you're not totally just going with whatever's new or whatever you heard in the news today but you're really investing in let me unplug this battery so i can you're investing in some uh funds that have multiple currencies in it so you're uh, basically you want to diversify so all your eggs aren't in one basket so if all of your money is in crypto in one particular crypto um fund or, or not fund but just one particular currency in the crypto and that goes down then that's all your money and so i don't ever recommend put, put it all in one basket so i like funds i like etfs i like index funds okay great questions great questions i love this so this is actually my first time going live on amazon Dot com and I love Amazon because I buy everything from there I honestly do believe it saves me a lot of money and I can buy in bulk and it it's easy for me to track what I'm spending I have a budget for each month for for household items I spend about $75 a month on household items and I'll buy it in bulk so if I need toilet paper I don't just run to Walmart stand in the long line just to buy a couple of tubes of um, toothpaste I'll wait and for the month okay we're running low on toothpaste we're running low on floss you know shampoo whatever it is that we're running low on and i make sure that i have everything in that that uh cart for the month and i budget it that way and that helps me a lot thank you someone said that was good dr keisha thank you thank you thank you all right so this is good this is good any other questions let's see if i can show you the beach a little bit more and show you the house that we're staying at this is my friend's house who's also financially free <laughs> and um, so 
it's just very beautiful gardens here you can see right here at the beach just get out of the pool and just walk down and i'm just very humbled about the fact that i've been able to reach this milestone of financial freedom because i've I've just endured so much. I've just endured so much in my life. And as a child, I didn't live with my parents. I lived with different family members and it was a struggle. It was really a struggle. I didn't think I would be going to college. That was just not in the plans for me until one day I was in high school. It was my sophomore year and I was skipping class and I was, <laughs> I was walking down the hall and I saw this flyer on the wall do you remember the flyers where you would pull the phone numbers off like the tabs on the bottom you pull the phone number off well that phone number changed my entire life because that was for a um the cleaning crew is gonna go <laughs> hi yeah they're fine yeah they're totally fine yeah <laughs> yeah oh thank you so much yeah so there's the the cleaning crew they just come and clean the house every day okay so but anyway that changed my life because it exposed me to college my mother had me at 17 17 years old and that really was hard for us because we didn't have any money we had each other and we had love we had plenty of love but uh as much as you know we could but life was really hard for my mom and she just couldn't take care of me and my dad went to the military and so i know what it is like to grow up number one not having your parents feeling abandoned being physically abandoned and number two to just not have money not have what you need and not have what you want you know how that is especially in high school you want to have the latest shoes and the latest clothes and that just wasn't my life and so i went to college thank god and i was able to get a good job quote unquote and I took the slow path to wealth by really investing in the stock market. And when I w became divorced in 2017, that put me back into that young Lakeisha again, where I realized that I have to make a change. I can't just keep working for money. My money is gonna have to start working for me because I can't, every time there's a life change that happens, I'm back at square one with no money. I can't keep doing that to myself. So what are the ways in which I can create wealth no matter what? And the stock market has been that way for me, okay? So I, I honestly don't know how to day trade. I don't know options trading or anything like that. I've just done it the buy and hold way. And since the stock market has done so well in the past few years, it's really, helped me out a lot so when i was divorced in 2017 from 2017 to 2021 i was able to grow my investments to seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars because the stock market was growing each year by double digits i could not have saved that much money on my own with the salary that i had but the stock market with the stock market is, is totally possible all right someone said can i be friends with her too <laughs> I know she's so sweet to allow us to come and and just stay here at her home. It's just fabulous. Yep. So awesome. What time is it? Oh my gosh, I've been talking for almost 40 minutes. But you've been hanging here with me. So that's awesome. So thank you. So I hope that I've been able to share some things with you. Let me know if there's other lives you want me to do. I don't mind doing it. You see, I love to talk. <laughs> um, I'm going to be here for a few more days so I could do more lives from here and other items that I use. I'd be happy to share those with you as well. Just let me know in the chat. <laughs> it's almost time for me to head back into the blender to make a nice cold drink because it is warm out here it is warm so I have enjoyed everyone being here today thank you so much for joining me live and follow me if there should be a button for you to follow me if you haven't already 
because I, I just love sharing about financial freedom with people and just exposing you to things and answering questions. I just feel like that's my duty because I've been able to achieve it and I want to share how I did it. So definitely make sure you uh, click follow so that I can just continue to share. So follow me. Go to my website, LakeishaSimmons.com. You can see, um, I have a YouTube channel, so you can go watch YouTube videos. You can send me a message as well. And you can, healthy living topics, I like that because I am pescatarian, so I can talk about that. And you can follow me on social media at Dr. Keisha Simmons is my handle on pretty much everything. So you can follow me there as well. All right, so just follow me. If you miss this live, I do believe you'll be able to replay it from the beginning. We talked about Roth IRAs, traditional IRAs, the difference between a 457B and a 401K. We talked about in which order should you invest? Should you invest to the max for your 401K or should you just do up to your employer match and then invest in your brokerage account there were so many good questions in here and then of course um i have this little piece on here this tag so we talked about how i use amazon to save money at home how i buy in bulk what my budget is for amazon each month because that's important to have an amazon budget because you know if you don't you'll just buy like crazy um so make sure you do have that i also do have a budget my actual budget spreadsheet that i use that's available on my website that I use as well. So, all right, um, love, do you wanna say bye? <laughs> Hold on, let me switch it. My better half there. <laughs> all right, so click follow, and I may come back live again tomorrow while we're on the beach enjoying. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye.